welcome back to our daily life function, beginner level, level one workout for the month of August. Um, for equipment, we don't need a whole lot. We do need something like a box or a bench or a step to step up on. Um, we need a chair or a bench to be able to support ourselves on to do some rowing. Um, we do need a couple of loose bands. So again, I like to use the cloth one for my um, legs. We have the little rogue stretchy ones for some no monies. And then we have some of our uh, rogue um, orange lighter resistance um, for some hinged deadlifts, okay? So we need, you know, three loose bands and then we're gonna need one, um, your yellow one probably, orange, tangerine, whatever color this is, I'm not really sure, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, but for some band pullovers attached up here at a high anchor, okay? So not a whole lot of equipment. Again, super portable workout, great for travel, great for a home gym. Um, if you just invest in a few pieces of equipment, you guys will be set for pretty much any workout that we're gonna do, okay? So the way this is gonna work, the first half of the workout is a set of eight of everything, a set of 10 of everything, and a set of 12, okay? So make sure that you're warmed up, you've done your mobilities, and you're ready to get to work. So. We're gonna do a dumbbell single arm snatch, or I'll show you an option to do a curl and press instead, depending on which exercise feels best in your body today, okay? So if we're gonna do a single arm snatch, we're gonna do eight on each side. So we have our little hinge. I'm just gonna show you in low, slow motion. Hinge, you're gonna lead with your elbow, come all the way up, roll at the wrist, and press all the way up to the sky. Bring it back down to the shoulder and back down. So again, just below the knees, little hinge, nice high elbow roll at the wrist, up, bring it down to your shoulder, bring it down. So in, in actual real time, it looks like this, up, and then bring it down with control. So snap at the hips, bring it up with control, okay? If that's not suiting you today, then you can just do a curl and a press, okay? That works fine too, or you can curl it this way, and press it this way and bring it down with control. So I'll take any version of that. Just do eight on each side, do them good, great form with control, okay? So eight on each side of those. All right, then this one is a dumbbell pirate style uh, suitcase step up. So what that means is we're gonna plant our left foot on here. I'm gonna close my left eye, hold the weight in my right hand and I'm gonna step up and we're gonna do eight on each leg. And if you wanna go arr every time you do it, you know, the more you can ham this up and make it fun and make yourself laugh to get through it, the better, okay? So I'm gonna close my left eye, arr and down, arr and down, okay? And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. We're gonna put our right foot on, weight in the left hand, step the left leg up, close your right eye, Arr, it really just kind of changes your perception, makes things a little bit more challenging. You can't rely solely on your vision. You can't look down at your feet. So you've got to be sure of your footing, engage your core and with control. Okay, so eight on each side of those. And then we're gonna go into a three point row. So I have one hand on the bench, nice flat back. My shoulder is up and retracted and we're gonna row, okay? Neutral grip if that feels good. So eight on each side of those. And then we're gonna go into some banded deadlifts. So this is where we're gonna use our, whatever color this is, yellow, orange, orange is yellow, not really sure. So you're gonna grab the band so that you hold it in the middle so that it makes two loops. And you're gonna put one loop under each foot. It's probably the hardest part of the exercise is getting this band on your feet, okay? So step out, feet just a little bit wider than hip width. Okay, use the band for tension, nice hinge. And as you come up, you have a little bit more tension up here at the top. So I'll show you from the side, okay? So nice flat back hinge, up, squeeze your glutes, hinge, up and squeeze your glutes, okay? So you have eight of those. Repeat everything for 10, repeat everything for 12, done with that section of the workout. All right, so then we're gonna go on to our finisher. So we're gonna move the bench out of the way and you're gonna come down to the floor. You're gonna grab your favorite mini band and we're going to do 100 mini band bridges. So I'm not gonna demonstrate all 100, but I will get you guys started. 
So mini band on the tops of those thighs. Okay, again, good setup. Also check your shoes because sometimes when you pull those bands on, it drags your shoelaces, okay? So tuck the shoulder blades under, elbows down. All right, heels down, toes up, nice and tight. And we're gonna come up all the way up so you have a straight line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. All right, you're gonna come up and squeeze. You're pressing out into this band, activating the adductors, the outside of your legs, the abductors. All right, chip away. Try to do sets of 20, 25, however you need to get through that, done with those, okay? Then safely, if you can, come on up. And then we're gonna do 75 squats with the band on, okay? And if you have to do sit to stands, by all means, okay? So we're gonna press into the outside edges of this band to activate the outside edges of our legs, okay? All the way down. And these get challenging with this band on, so take your time, okay? Really press, and if you press into the outside edges of the band, it also helps your knees from caving in. So it forces you to keep everything in alignment. You activate your glutes, you really feel this all in the lower half of your body. 75 of those, break those down however you need to, okay? Then this little guy can come off, so safely step out of your band, make sure it's off all the way before you start walking around. Also double check your shoelaces. So now we have pullovers and we have 50 of these. So we wanna come out, okay? Neutral grip, meaning my hands are, my palms are facing each other and I'm gonna pull down and come straight up getting that nice big stretch. Okay, down, big stretch, down, big stretch. We have 50 of those. And then we're gonna go into 25, no monies. I like to use a little rubber band because they have much better stretch. So we have our elbows tucked in at our sides. The band is on our hands, thumbs are free. We're just opening, okay? Keep the shoulders down and back, all right? Just open, so pull the band apart. Good, keeping those elbows in nice and tight. And you have 25 of those. And once you've made it through all those exercises, good news is you are done with this workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next one. Bye for now.